I figured I would do for you guys since it's a weekend. See this setup right here? For some reason, that works. And uh, I just want to show you a couple of converts out of that. Just because it's crazy stupid. It's stuff like this. It works, trust me. Like that jump four right there, somebody would have crossed their wake up, up and for some reason press buttons and got hit. Um, from here on out, just imagine that I do a jump four and I would be plus and then go for a mix up, like back three, for example. You could also uh, go for overhead, of course, right after that. There is a gap. After you jump four, of course, there's going to be a gap for the next thing, but with plus and with nimble being on, most people are just going to chill. They're just going to let you go for pressure. So you could do something like that for your overhead. You could do a uh, four, four slide if you wanted to, like this. And that would make it to where they're, they're just going to really guess wrong, basically. It's a huge risk for you. But you could go with full string like this and still get a pretty decent convert. So not too bad, right? I mean, that's, that's something that is happening quite frequently. And if players start getting used to just waking up, <coughs> there, there's stipulations, you know. There's stipulations to the wake up. If they tech roll and wake up, you may have to use a, a bar of your meter when going for the setup. Or setups like these, just so that you can be up and over in time. But you can still punish, which is so great. You know, you kind of get a good risk reward thing because if you risk a lot, you could punish. So the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, knee dash, board board dash. Online, it doesn't seem to work super good for me since there's a certain height that people need to be at, and with certain connection speeds changing all the time. I mean, it doesn't ideally look something like this, you know, whatever this, whatever the real combo is for that with. Knee dash, knee dash, you know, you could do stuff like um, back one down four and then put a bunch of knee dash, like four four dashes like this and get a little bit more damage out of combos, like 44%, but still, like, it's it's common for that to be dropped because of connections. It's not super easy. So I recommend for online doing things like four four slide because there's setup options. I mean, there's... There's four slides, but with three, there's setup options. And on the third, you could just do forward four into a force ball. So force ball like this. I'll show you again. And I'm going to go for a mix-up. There we go. See? Blocked for wake up, plus went for overhead. Now, if you wanted to just straight up uh, maybe convert for some damage, and that's fine, you can just convert for 40, and that works anywhere on screen. See, even in this corner, it would work, it wouldn't be too hard. Just, it's four slides, and then four, four water. So, I mean, it's... Okay, and last but not least, I just wanted to talk about a couple of the corner things that we got going on for Nimble right now. Um, board 4 slide is breaking pretty much any characters wake up in the game, even with tech rolling. Um, that's not, it's not everyone, but it is a lot of them. So you can keep that in mind. Of course, it's a huge risk, but you can also do something like this, where it'll still break certain characters wake up. So that's board 4 one just in case they thought you might go for more slide. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, and it's at the end of one of the most basic reptile combos out there that everyone should be doing. It's, it's very simple. Uh, you just throw it in there and you can even do, um, you can even kind of go for mix-ups in a sense, but all of this is with, with risk for sure. Everything that you're going to go for in the corner like this to get these kind of converts has a risk involved. See, if you woke up and I went overhead, that was a risk. I was trying to get 50%, but couldn't. Okay, I go low. Oh, still couldn't break it. See what I mean? It's it's a huge risk. That could have been a huge convert for another character. But let's just say that they're playing it pretty safe and they let you go for a mix-up like this. Okay, here's a possible easy convert that should work on most every connection, you know, that's playable at least. Um, you can also go, let's see, uh, I'll show you guys the uh, overhead next. Yep, and then this, and then uppercut, 4412 slide, that'll be 50. 
not too hard to get. It's just, it's kind of a gimmick, you know. These these combos, these people thinking that, you know, Nimble is just ridiculously good. A lot of this damage comes off one of the riskiest things that he can do. So, uh, here's another convert. This is going to be for two bars. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Just because I've been doing this lately. Um, with back one down four into slow four fall in the corner, I want to show you this too. You can do that same uh, setup where you just do four four spit, four four spit, four four slide, four four one fast four small uppercut, and four four one two slide. Okay, I promise. Last thing, I just want to talk about one more setup that's working really well. It's um tech roll or not type setup. If they don't tech roll, you can go for a mix up like the back three or the back two. But if they do tech roll, uh, you're gonna have to kind of react to it and. You won't be able to go for your mix-up and break their armor. Of course, this isn't going to work on Goro. This is exact setup, but, you know. It's cool because you can see if they tech roll, I promise. Whenever you go for it, you can see if they tech roll and kind of react to it. See, I, I, I did it here, but you see my run meter went down. I'll show you. It's more forgiving than that. Check this out. You can actually react to it. For most characters in the game and then get full combo punishes that's if they tech roll because if they tech roll most likely they're trying to wake up